Sadiksha Thirumalesh had told doctors that she wanted to try everything in order to live. During her final months, she fought a legal battle with an NHS trust who'd put her on end-of-life care. That trust can now be named as University Hospitals Birmingham. Sadiksha died in hospital earlier this month. She had a rare mitochondrial disorder and suffered a cardiac arrest. She was a very caring and loving individual. She always liked helping others and she wanted to... And she's a very bright and brave young girl. Since her death, her family have fought court restrictions that meant neither she nor the trust could be named. She'd wanted to travel to North America for experimental treatment, an option her family say she was denied. There are one or two consultants that are waiting for Sudhiksha to die. That is the fact. We were totally silenced because she couldn't even say a name out. She couldn't fundraise or she couldn't even pursue a treatment abroad. The doctors just purely ignored her wishes. But the trust says her illness was incurable. She'd been in critical care on a ventilator. They added Sadiksha's parents had applied to send her to North America. At no point did any hospital agree to accept her. The trust facilitated those applications. For Sadiksha to have capacity to determine what medical treatment she should receive, she had to believe that the medical opinion was that her health was precarious and she could only have days or weeks to live. In fact, Sadiksha simply did not believe that her condition was that fragile. It follows the deaths of Alfie Evans in 2018 and Charlie Gard in 2017. This is medical murder! There were protests as their families fought the NHS in court. In those high-profile cases, the hospitals involved received threats. This time, although we can now name the NHS Trust, a judge has ruled we can't identify the hospital due to the risk to staff of abuse and harassment. But Sadiqsha's death will add to the debate on what rights patients should have. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Birmingham.